Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, I wanted to do another how-to video. I've been, you know, doing a lot of just home projects, fixing a lot of stuff, and I got a, a lot of good feedback on the um, ice maker fix that I did. So I figured, you know, I'm gonna just, you know, I'm already here fixing stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make some videos. So, uh, a new problem arise in the house. As you know, owning a, a lovely home comes with a lot of broken stuff sometimes, and today it's going to be the toilet. All right, so my home is about 12 years old. Um, it has obviously the old style toilet here with the little um, ball thingy here. I have some gloves just because there's a lot of just blue chemicals that we use to help clean the toilet. I don't want to get um, super messy. But what's happening is um, this thing would fill up and obviously when this goes up, this locks and the water that dispenses off of here will normally supposed to stop when it goes up. And what's happening is this stupid nut here that's loose when you crank it down like this um, it locks in place here but when it gets to here it like unlocks itself it's like really loose it's getting old and it's getting kind of janky go ahead and replace this old style ball valve and go ahead and use the new style so the new style looks like this it has this floating unit that's on the same area over here all right so the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn off your water and the water line will be here and normally, um, it's already off here, but this is on. You can hear it rushing. This is off, okay? So go ahead and turn it off. Once it's off, go ahead and flush the toilet. Try to drain as much water as you can out of this because you don't want this to kind of leak all over the floor there. And this is as low as it's going to get right here. All right, which is okay. And then go ahead and grab a towel or grab some sort of... Um, whatever so that water doesn't fly all over here so i'm gonna go ahead and grab it real quick all right so i got the towel now if you look under here you're gonna go ahead and start to unloose unloosen this guy here the water's going to drip out obviously because there's still water in that bowl all right go ahead and do that completely all right so that's your water right there i put that aside now this guy here, it has another basically nut here. You're going to need a, a wrench. So I'm kind of go up here because there's light. Uh, just grab one of these wrenches that's adjustable. It's probably your easiest bet just so you can get it to the size. If you have a size that's exact, perfect. If not, go ahead and do this. Same thing here. Just go ahead and unscrew this. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. For those people who don't know, just super easy here and then once you kind of get it going you can do it by hand afterwards it's just more of like the first turn um, and everything else this should be pretty easy here so let's go ahead and move that so I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this all right so once you have the unscrew down there go ahead and pop this out the rest of the water will kind of leak out there which is fine go ahead and pull this unit out as you can see and that's why you have a towel you see that all over the floor go ahead and just toss this guy here real quick and then also you kind of just want to remember where these uh, gaskets are. As you can see the gasket sits inside here in the bottom. And then you put that down so it actually creates that seal. So you want to do the same thing on the other one. Um, so if you kind of aren't familiar with it, so just kind of memorize what the old one looks like and just kind of copy it with the new one. All right, so to show you guys what I got, I just basically bought this Fluid Master from Home Depot. You can get it at Lowe's Home Depot. I'll do another link uh, to this just in case you guys want to order online or something like that and where you guys want to drive all the way out to Home Depot or if there's not one close to you guys. Um, there's two versions of this. This is just high performance. So actually when you have um, a smaller toilet, um, it actually flushes a little bit better in terms of the delivery. But um, it doesn't matter which one you can get. It's, you know, pretty much the same thing here. So I got this. So I will link uh, the description below for this version. All right, inside the box, you're gonna get something like this. Um, this is that gasket right here, that black thing. And then that's that nut that actually closes it. So we'll go ahead and put these two into same direction as the old one here. So just remember that. We'll do that. And then this clip thingy is going to sit on this guy here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this later in a little bit and just put this clip down there. All right, so I installed the gasket onto here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in and screw it in. And then um, I'm not going to go screw it in all the way because I don't know what direction I want to do with this guy here first. It's probably going to be something like this, but I'm just going to kind of let it chill there for a little bit until I can figure out the wiring. 
All right, one thing I wanna show you guys here as well on this new piece here, this one actually can extend here. You can kind of like pull this out to make it longer and screw it, you see that, to make it the height a little bit longer, or you can kind of screw it in to make it shorter. In my case, I do need to bring it up a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it about, uh, this is about an inch or so taller, and then we'll see uh, if we need to adjust this or not. All right, so per the instruction here, there is a fill line that's indicated right here. It has to be one inch above here, so just kind of grab a tape measure and just get approximate one inch right here to here. So this is about an inch from there to this line here. So just go ahead and adjust uh, the height of that to match with that overflow pipe there. And the next step I did was I just attached the line that went from here to here and it was an easy um, attachment and all you do is uh, you press on these guys here and once you have it pushed in go ahead and cover it like so over the connection it'll make a good seal. Alright so now you have everything in place let's go ahead and grab your nut here and let's go ahead and put everything back together. Start by just doing a hand uh, tighten and kind of straighten it out and then we're going to go ahead and use the wrench to tighten it in a little bit here. Alright guys so I have the nut installed here I'm going to go ahead and turn on the wire just a little bit here and before I do that, I kind of want to make sure that, you know, water doesn't shoot from here all the way to the ceiling. Go ahead and use this top here and just kind of cover it just in case if, you know, you installed it wrong or this is um, something that's funky. Go ahead and just turn it a little bit. All right, so you can hear it. It's not shooting everywhere. And the one thing you want to check for is leaks on here first because that's where you actually changed it. So with this here, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Check for leaks. Um, there could be just water residue from the previous. And if it's not, um, if it's, it is leaking slowly or something like that, go ahead and make sure these are tightened. And just go ahead and tighten these and tighten these. And let this kind of sit for a little bit here and check for leaks. All right, so now I have everything installed. I have the toilet fully filled. This right here is going to be your height of the water and how high and low the water you want this to be. Um, right now, I think I actually like it the way it is. It's actually slightly lower than what my previous um, floater valve was. As you can see here, these marks, it was actually pretty high or higher. And what that is, um, obviously, you'll have more water in the toilet. This one's pretty low. Uh, the water height would be a little bit higher. Uh, you will be using a lot more water, though, every time you flush if you have the height higher. So just FYI there. Um, so, again, adjust this guy here in terms of the height the way you want it. And actually, with this new one, the water actually shoots out on here and actually not on this cup area here, which is um, pretty uh, pretty cool here. So I'm gonna go ahead and flush it and I'll show you guys here. Flushing. And it's filling with this line here that we just installed, the blue line. This here, um, when you adjust it, it actually makes uh, the water fill fast, faster or lower depending on how uh, you adjust this tube here. It basically tightens this tube. So for me it doesn't matter. The speed's fine. It can come out as fast as it wants and it's filling just fine. There's no leaks down here so that's a good sign. Alright guys so everything is working. I hope this video helps you guys out. It's a very easy fix. It will save you tons of money and until next time guys, peace.